welcome back to my channel everyone and welcome if you are new to me. I'm Helen and this is Stitch with Repeat. Today is a Friday Sews and I haven't done one for I think three weeks so I've got a lot of catching up to do for you guys today. I'm going to have general chat on life and sewing and sewing plans and of course uh, a video of mine wouldn't be one if I didn't show you a few fabric purchases. <laughs> so first of all I will start with a rundown of my spending for April and May. If you recall I have my notebook and I'm making a note of uh, what I buy so that I can actually keep a track of my spending. It hasn't actually managed to curb how much I spend so far but at least I know what I'm spending now and uh, I've got it all written down and I haven't done this for a couple of months so I will tell you that in April my total spend and this is on fabrics patterns if I've had a pdf printed it'll be for that any sewing books that kind of things for April it was £194.44 pence. so that's about average from what I've been doing if you've watched my previous and then for May I actually ended up not spending as much money as I had <laughs> so I'll explain I did a de-stash I think it was in April of some of my fabrics and with the money that I made from the de-stash <laughs> of course I bought more fabrics <laughs> totally negating the whole point of de-stashing but hey ho um, so my total spend was 254 in May but actually after the money I got from my de-stashing I had 71 pounds left over so that was fantastic so first thing that I will talk about apart from obviously my budget is what I am wearing I have to apologize I don't think I've shared it on YouTube before I know I've shared it on Instagram but I couldn't see any video where I mentioned it so apologies if I'm repeating myself this is the saguaro top from the friday pattern company it comes in a set and hopefully i'll have popped a picture in with this top and with trousers i have made the top from a remnant i think i had about 78 centimeters of this i'm not 100 percent sure what it is i think it's um called a rami i will see if i can find it i got it from make down here in plymouth and as you can see i am wearing it the other way round. So it's a great thing about this pattern is you can wear it as in the photo with the cut down the V at the front or you can wear it and I'm not sure how well this will show so apologies with the back and then the front is more of this straight across. So I absolutely love this. It was really simple to sew and it's very comfortable to wear but I have to admit I have not worn it out of the house since I made it. Now and the reason for this is because I haven't made the trousers yet and I'm hoping because the trousers are a high-waisted pattern that's meant to go with this that it will stop the extra bit of my midriff which I've got high trousers I'm wearing with this at home they don't go but it's covering up if I wear it with normal trousers I've got an awful big expanse of my midriff showing and at 50 years of age with four kids and a little pouch thanks to a c-section i don't want to be showing my midriff <laughs> nobody needs to be seeing that so i'm hoping to get the trousers finished very soon and then i will be able to wear this as a set and i absolutely love the pattern i'll probably pop in a photo of me wearing it the other way around just so that i can say i lengthened it by one inch to have a little bit more coverage i also followed their instructions for making the crossover not so low because it's very low um very cleave tastic uh <laughs> with the old um chest area so i actually followed their pattern so that it moved that crossover higher up you could also add in ties which a lot of people have done and i might try on the next version and finally i know i'm not the only person to find this but the elastic waistband um sizing that they gave sorry my chair's moving <laughs> in their pattern it just was never gonna reach I didn't even bother cutting out the size that they recommended I cut a medium in this top and I will try and find what they said and pop it on the screen but the elastic was not going to go around my waist 
So I ignored their recommendation and I basically just got my elastic around my waist and then I safety pinned it to where it was comfortable and then cut it to that size. So I'm not even sure if I made a note. <laughs> so when I make another top, I'm gonna have to do that again and try and remember to make a note of what the length of elastic was. So yeah, I love the saguaro. It's very, very popular pattern. I have got some gorgeous fabric, which I've mentioned previously, uh, definitely on my Instagram, I want to make the matching top and bottoms, but I'm going to finish a pair of bottoms first to go with this, and then I'll make that at some point. So that's one of the makes I've made recently. Two other makes that I have made in recent weeks are the Friday Pattern Sagebrush Top and the paper theory pattern zadie jumpsuit so i will start with the sage brush and i'll pop in some photos i've had this pattern for quite a while i've seen lots and lots of people make it i love the ruffle and the big sleeves and then obviously um you can't see on here but it has a tie so there's no fastenings to worry about so it's really simple so and i just haven't got around to making it so i finally did make it if you've seen my last video, you will have seen it already because I wore it when I recorded that. I made it out of the gorgeous blue flowery fabric, which is a very, very light, like a voile type cotton that I've made another top in previously and I absolutely love. I only did one thing different with this top, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see very well in this. In fact, let me get the top and I'll be able to show you better. Okay, so... The only thing that I did different with my blouse here is the bias binding. So I did everything as I always do when I do a pattern for the first time or usually do. I copy the instructions exactly and then I see if there's any changes I want to make. I did not like the bias binding. So you can see here, this is quite thin. Um, and that's because when I did the bias binding the way they said, it came up much higher and I could not get it to lie flat so it was sticking out around my neck and I really didn't like it so I basically just took that section of bias binding and folded it to the back and stitched it down again I mean it's not the neatest job in the world but honestly when I'm wearing that who's going to notice so yeah absolutely love this I do love the puffy sleeve I'm not a hundred percent convinced that they don't make me look a little bit like an American footballer when I'm wearing them and I do love uh, the ruffle so that was my first version I'll get some details so I went for the medium and that is for a 36 to 37 inch bust 28 to 29 inch waist and a 37 to 38 inch hips now that's pretty much okay for my bust and for my hips the waist is not big enough but when you get to the finished garment measurements it's the same all the way down which for the medium was 44 inches and I thought that that was plenty in fact the only reason I didn't go for a small was because my lovely sewing tutor Vanessa measured out the yoke and we thought that although you know body wise and sleeves I might have got away with the small this yoke piece is quite a tiny piece if you've made it and the small probably would not have been big enough so yeah sage brush top absolutely love it i think the next version i make i'll do uh double gauze and um i think that will look lovely oh look you can see i've not hemmed it <laughs> i'll just hide that i tuck it in when i wear it so i haven't hemmed it um i will pop the links for any patterns website or people that i talk about as i always do in my description down below so you'll be able to check out the details of the sagebrush for yourself so the second one that i made as i say was the zadie jumpsuit hopefully you're following the fact that i am doing this in collaboration with tamlin who is sewn on the tine we've both made our 12 versions now and so we've got to be getting on with our finished version so i'm looking around because i know the fabric's right here <laughs> i'll show you that in a minute what I will also do is I will link uh, the Zadie plans video that I made and you can check that out if you haven't already. And yes, I made the twirl in this gorgeous linen look fabric, which I got from So Affordable Fabrics and I absolutely love it. Now, the uh, 
Zadie is a very popular pattern, I think, for lots of reasons. Firstly, well, it looks great. I mean, it literally looks great on everyone I've ever seen make it. And secondly, it's very easy to sew. My, um, my inspiration really is from the lovely Lizzie, who owns and runs Make, which you know I love. And she's made so many versions of the Zadie. And every time I go to her shop or to her sewing lessons, she seems to have whipped up another one. So, um, yeah, I can definitely see me making more. I made this in a size 10. Now, I will find the sizing guide because I don't have the physical pattern. I've got the PDF pattern and I will pop it on the screen. I'll probably pop it on and leave it so you can have a look. I actually fell into the size 14 for my chest and then the size 12 for everything else. But everybody I've spoken to or everything I've read says that the Zadie is a very oversized pattern and that you should size down. So I decided to go with the 10 all over and I think that that was perfect. I absolutely love it. I love how it fits. I love how it looks. I love the fabric I made it. Even though this was my toile, I have already worn it like half a dozen times since I made it. It's fabulous. I love that it has pockets. Um, the only difference I made to this pattern is I lengthened the legs by three inches because it's a cropped trouser pattern and I wanted these ones to be long. Hopefully you can tell by the photos. I think for another one I would do cropped, do the original length, but for the final version I'm going to make, I'm going to stick with my three inches. So the fabric I'm using for the final version is this one I'll just get and show you. And this is from Eglantine and Zoe and they have a gorgeous range of fabrics and Lizzie stocks them in make and I always love them. This comes in three colourways. I have mentioned it before and shown it before so it's if you do follow me it's not new but for those of you who maybe haven't seen it and haven't seen my plans video it is this gorgeous fabric here which I believe is a viscose twill. I'm trying to look down the side. I'll pop in what it is, but yeah, it is this. Oh, I think I've got it. It is directional, look, because of those um, yellow musty ones. They only go that one way, so it is directional. I think these sort of blues and greens are very much in keeping with the fact that I live down here by the sea, and I can see me wearing this this summer an awful lot once I've made it. So that is the next thing that I am going to be making, and that will be then a full video talking about pattern sizing and what I thought of the pattern, finished pattern, pattern, and what I thought of the finished look. And I will be sharing that when Tamlin and I have both finished and you'll be able to see how we both got on. And it's always, I think, really fab to see a couple of perspectives on the same pattern. So stay tuned. I don't know when that will be, but hopefully that will be coming up quite soon. So other exciting things to share with you. I do share things, as I think I've mentioned quite a bit, on Instagram much more regularly than I do here. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I'll pop my handle here. Do pop on over and you'll see more frequent posts on there. And that will have included, I think, on my stories when I received these two, which are both prizes. So the first one that I got was from Clover and I got a box of their goodies as an Easter giveaway that I entered over on Instagram. Took a while to come because the company is Clover MFG and like I say as with everything else I will pop their Instagram in the description so you can have a look and they are based in Japan so they sent me a little uh, congratulations letter and they sent me this box of Clover goodies and that was my prize. So I'm really excited. I will quickly run through what I got in my prize. I got some sets of needles. One are golden eye applique and the others are quilting needles. I got some lovely glass pins, glass head pins there. I got some always come in handy clips, those wonder clips I use all the time. And I got some of the larger I think they're like quilting wonder clips these are much bigger than the regular I've already got some of these as well but more always come in handy got this lovely little seam um roll and press 
and I got a quick cut thread cutter. And then I got a desk needle threader. And finally, this one I've not seen before. So I'd seen most of those products. In fact, I already have some of them. <laughs> but this is a Sweet and Sharp Macaron. And it is a needle minder and a needle sharpener. Isn't that cute? So you can put the needle on top and it'll keep it. And then I don't know if you can see that picture at the bottom. You pop the needle in that bit in the middle and it sharpens your needles. So that was a lovely little prize that I got. Do go and take a look at them over on Instagram. And they do hold frequent um, giveaways throughout the year. So obviously, I highly encourage you. I enter every single giveaway I ever see <laughs> on Instagram. Occasionally, I've won. So, so that was my first giveaway. I will show you now the other giveaway that I got. This one was a collaboration with two companies that I follow on Instagram. One is Happy Fabric and the other is by Graziella Fabrics. And excuse me, an opening box here. They did this joint giveaway and I had a mixture of Gra Graziella Fabrics and Happy Flex HTV from Happy Fabric. They actually, when they did the original giveaway, showed you making it as a bag but I will probably not make it as a bag. I am already a bag maker and have lots of bags, but um, yeah, I got my little uh, congratulations letter in the box. And then I got this box of goodies, which I will go through for you. So I got this lovely, so happy postcard from by Graziella and it's got all the details about their company on that. And then I got some, uh, as I say, Happy Flex Vinyl from Happy Fabric and they pre-cut this really fab little saying here which is eat sleep so repeat I love that I mean it's very similar to my channel name so I have that there they then gave me so I think that's the off cuts from the fabric they use there and I've got some full A4 sheets in different shades of the Happy Flex. Now I have a Cricut Maker and that is what I shall be using these for. And this, as opposed to going on a bag, I am probably gonna pop it onto a t-shirt or a sweatshirt and then wear it proudly. The by Graziella side of the competition was two fabrics. This one, is a lighter weight cotton, which I think will be good for dressmaking. And I got it in this gorgeous blue with the red hearts, or oh, it's like a purpley blue all over. I'm not sure, I haven't measured, but I think there's at least two meters of that. So I'm thinking it'll make a lovely top. And um, I really like that because I've had their stretch fabrics before, but I've never had their wovens. This one is a thicker, which obviously would good, be good for bag making. So I'll have to see what I do make with this. But again, I think there's about two metres of this one. And it is in this, let me put the box down. It's in this dark grey, black background, I think. And I don't know if you can tell, but the hearts have got little tiny red hearts inside them there. And um, it may wash up softer so I can make clothes out of it. But I just loved that. And it was very exciting to receive that. So two prizes recently, I was really chuffed. And that is why, as I say, I enter all the giveaways <laughs> over on Instagram. So the next thing I wanted to share with you was just a quick mention of my recent Think Pink box. I think this is number four. Let me see, because it has on the postcard what number it is. It is, it's number four. So I've had number two and number four, and now I'm um, a regular subscriber. I will get them every month. So I wasn't going to do, it's not like a proper unboxing or anything, because there's lots of those out there. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I loved in this box. The first was this gorgeous soap. So the box smelled really lovely when it came through and it's by another lo lovely local company to Andrea over in Donegal in Ireland and it's called Soapy Lou's Soapery and it came in this lovely little wooden box which apparently is not the norm she did it especially for Andrea but the soap not only smelling lovely but it looks fantastic look at that 
gorgeous sun and moon. I'm very reluctant to put that in any bathroom that my children will use because they will not appreciate how gorgeous that is. So I will hold on to that for a little while. There were some other gorgeous things like sewing patches and some... See, I said I wasn't going to do an unboxing and now I am. Some bias binding in these really cute ginghams. But the main thing I wanted to show you was the fabric. And I have already seen a couple of ladies make up some fabulous clothing with their fabrics, especially Cara made, I think the dungarees, I'm, I want to say she made the heyday dungarees, which I absolutely love. Um, she is so, so mad and I'll pop her down below. But this fabric is amazing. It is, I want to say, a chambray. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, oh, it doesn't say on there. But it is this. Look at this. I'm going to put my box down again. It is the most fabulous embroidered flowers all over this chambray. And I think we have two, two and a half metres of that. And originally I did say to Cara I was going to copy her and make the dungarees, which I still think look fab, but I'm probably not. I'm actually thinking the Darling Ranges dress by Megan Nielsen, which I have in a project bag because I have a chambray, which you may have seen quite a while back. I got in a kit with the pattern and all the notions that you need to go with it. But I want to make, I'm not sure if you can see, hopefully the light's not shining, this one with the buttons. In the original chambray, it will be lovely. But in this new one from Andrea, be absolutely stunning. So that's what I hope to make with the fabric from my recent Think Pink. Don't think there's too much more to go. Please do stick with me. I'm sorry, because I haven't spoken to you for a few weeks. This is quite a long video because I'm trying to remember what I've shown you and what I haven't shown you. I have got uh, one more thing that is not fabric. And if you are on Instagram, you will already know who influenced this. And it was the fabulous Ruan, who is the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And it's this sewing journal, which she got one on Amazon. And she'd already started filling it in. And I just thought it was brilliant. So it's got my planner, belongs to me. <laughs> then it has every page is like this. So you can have all the details. So you can pop in your measurements and your machine settings what size you made you can do a little sketch you can do uh, the pattern the pattern type notions you can even put a little fabric swatch and then you've got a lovely area on the back on the second page where you can put any notes and anything you want to do for um future makes and, and results of what you thought of it and and Ruan had already filled this in for some things she'd been doing. And I just think it's a really fabulous way to keep a track on all my makes. So thank you, Ruan, uh, for mentioning this in your vlog. I will start filling this in from now on when I make my makes. The next thing I want to show you is a box that I received from Little Miss So-and-So. And I can't remember the exact discount, but she was doing a discount on her all set to sew boxes. I had a little gander at her site and I loved this one because this is one I've been looking at the pattern on various sites for a very long time and really wanted to get. And it is the Marlene sweater from Closet Core Patterns. I think this is a really lovely sweater. If you have seen my Think Pink box I had previously, number two, I had the most gorgeous sweatshirting fabric from Poppy and it, I think, would be perfect. I'm thinking currently the one with the pocket and the hood there. But there is also a more straightforward one there, which I might do. And at some point I'll do the one with this tie at the front. But that's my favourite, but I might do that one. Very popular. So the set comes with everything you need. So this one came with the pattern. And there isn't much you need for a sweatshirt. So it comes with the matching thread. And then you choose your fabric, which is lovely. So unfortunately, the fabric I chose first, which I think was a blue French terry, like a denim blue kind of colour, was not enough to make my, um, to make up enough for this. So they phoned me to let me know and asked me to choose another. And I chose this, which I actually think, looking back, is even better than my original choice. I mean, look, that is going to be 
fabulous. It's a sweatshirting in this. I hope you can see it's like a grey marl background with these blues and greys all over it in those giant splodges. And I think as a sweatshirt of this, this fabric will just look brilliant. So they were ever so good. As I say, they phoned me up to say they didn't have enough. When I chose it that day, it was dispatched the same day and I received it within a couple of days. So that's one of their set to sew, all set to sew, as I said. Do go and check them out because they have lots of different patterns on there. And as I say, it comes with everything you need and then you choose the fabric you want to put in the box. So now on to just some fabrics. <laughs> so I haven't got all of these recently. As you know, I did some fabrics, I think, in my last Friday sews. So that was about three weeks ago. Some of these I think I might have already had, just not shown you. And again, I apologise if I have already shown you. Um, I have a fog brain in <laughs> every single day at the moment. So um, if I've already shown you again, I, I am very sorry for repeating myself. Firstly, I got a couple of things from the lovely Keely, who is the voice of creative over on Instagram. She was doing a D stash and she had this really lovely heart jersey. It's just a cotton jersey and all these lovely blues. So I bought that. Can't remember exactly how much it is size wise, but there's certainly enough to do a nice sweatshirt with. She also had the other one from her is this lovely blue with the silver glittery stars all over it. Um, which I absolutely love. I mean, you know me, if it's blue, I'm likely to get it. Again, I don't know. I think I got about a metre and a half from her. So those were from Keely's d -Sash. And then this one I bought when I was in Make. I can't remember when. It's a viscose linen blend, but I absolutely love the Cobra Corsage range from Lady McElroy. And that's mainly down to Sean from Kittenish Behaviour because she's just got so much of it and it's all stunning i managed to pick up when i saw this in lizzie's shop this as i say viscose linen blend in this kind of teal color uh which you know obviously it's not to everyone's taste because it has snakes and bugs <laughs> mixed in with flowers but my plan in this gorgeous fabric is some really wide legged swishy summer type trousers and my thoughts were a plain top in any one of these colours would go lovely. So it gives you a lot of options. But I've always wanted some of the Cobra Corsage. So when I saw that Lizzie had it, I got myself two metres. Okay, so the next one I've got is the one I get from Facebook from a lady who has a Facebook page called Fabric Heaven. I did try not to tell people the name of her page the last time I shared the fabric, which was the blue with the flowers that I made the sagebrush top with because uh, she never has very um, huge amounts of each fabric and they go really quickly. So I was being totally selfish and I didn't want people to know. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yes, I had the blue. She got this lovely, I don't know, it's like a lilac-y grey background colour of the same fabric. And so I picked up a metre and a half to make another lovely summer top to go with my nice blue ones. Last but one, I think I got this from Bumble Bunches. She has been having a closing down sale and one of the things she had was like a 50% off on fabrics. And this, I think it's a twill, but I'm not 100% sure. I got three metres of it and it is this fabulous blue with that grey and kind of lime green like a sort of pebble design all over it and I'm thinking some sort of dungarees out of these um, maybe the heyday dungarees by uh, Waves and Wild or the lazy day dungarees by Stitched in Wonderland um, but yeah I have myself three meters of this rather fabulous fabric there and then last, if you're still with me, I'm going to have to pause the camera because it's a noisy tissue paper. <laughs> Over the Jubilee weekend we had here in England, where we had a lovely four day break because the Thursday and Friday were a holiday. And then we had the Saturday and Sunday. The lovely Jess at So Much More, who's based in Tavistock, did a offer where you could have free postage. And so I had a quick look because she'd had a fabric 
that I'd seen on there that I really fancied, but I wasn't like, oh, I mustn't buy. And then, I, you know, free, free postage just tipped the scales for me and I had to buy it. So you get this lovely postcard from Jess wishing you happy sewing. And then I'll show you one fabric first before I show you the one I really wanted. This is a gorgeous gold speckled double gauze. I have had uh, this fabric in a teal colourway before. I made a blouse and I think a lovely summer top to go with some of the summer trousers that I've planned, like the saguaro and the Cobra Corsage, will be gorgeous in this white. Not sure how clever it was to go for white because I get things very messy. <laughs> but that was one that I picked up. And the one that I really wanted, which made me go on her website, is this. I will have to look up what type of fabric it is because, as usual, I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's very lightweight and it's a gorgeous, I think, print for this summer. And it is this mustardy colour with these flowers all over it. I think I got two metres of that and I'm thinking a lovely lightweight blouse, possibly. Yeah, a blouse, I'm thinking. Um, maybe if I've got enough, I'm thinking of the Frida blouse by, I want to say, Atelier Jupe patterns. I will double check. I made one previously in a gorgeous white and I love it and I keep meaning to make more, but I just think that this would be really nice as um, a blouse for the summer. Of course, I'll have to find some stunning buttons <laughs> to go on it. Um, but yes, so obviously that's the last of my fabric for now. I've got my notification that my next Think Pink box has been paid for. So that's exciting. That comes out, I think, the 15th of every month. So that was just yesterday. So I've got that to look forward to next month. And I have already told you, I think, in my previous video, my So Early Jane, that I'm getting the luxury box next month. So uh, July is going to be a fab month with both those boxes arriving. I'm sorry that this has been a long rambly one. That's what happens when I don't film Friday Sews for a few weeks. As always, do go and check out everybody using the hashtag Friday Sews and obviously Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room, who was the brainchild of this wonderful conception. I'm going to leave it there before I waffle on any more. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. And I will catch you all in my next video. Thank you.